Welcome back to Balderdash Academy. Our points are in last place. We have our visiting professor, Joe Swenson, with 32 points. Next, we have Marie with 116.7, Steve with 117, Nate with 127.9, myself with 145.3, and in the lead, Molly with 188. Seven. Sweet, sweet, sweetness. <laughs> it is time for our final pop quiz of the night. This pop quiz is from the professor of home ec and wellness, Marie Stewart Harmon. What do you have for us? Hi, guys. So I know that currently when you're listening to this, it's January in Maine. And what happens to a lot of women here at that time in the year is shaving becomes optional. I mean, it's, should, it's optional regardless, but especially in the winter time, things can get a little much. And um, I sometimes forget to restock on shaving cream. So today I went to shave my legs and there was no shaving cream in the shower and I did not know what to do. Mm. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I would like some, some suggestions here, faculty. If you found yourself about to shave your face, shave your legs, Bob, shave your head, one of the things that we are all doing regularly, sometimes, um, what would you have done <laughs> yeah. if you did not have any shaving cream? Um, Nate. What? You're 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 working on that stubble there. It looks like you're 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 are you are you feeling a little prickly? Might you need to shave? What would you do yes. without shaving cream? Uh, it's funny that you should ask because I actually do not shave. I just use this method. Um, so what I do is I buy a pineapple. Now mm -hmm. pineapples actually. Uh, they kind of eat you rather than you eat it, and I <laughs> I think it's the bromine in it. Bromide? Bromine, yeah, bromine, yeah. Uh, bromides within dissolved protein. Yeah, and uh, and so what you can do yeah. is you take that pineapple. Uh, I have three upstairs that I bought two years ago. So you let them get really Ooh. old. They kind of turn into an ooze. Right. Yeah, and then uh, you stick it in the microwave for about three and a half seconds, um, only for comfort. Only it doesn't do anything other than just make it uh, nicer. And then you just put it on the areas that you don't want hair. Um, and it will just eat that hair. Um, if you do go to sleep with it, though, it can blister. Like, it oh, eats a little too much. Oh, my dear God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I've um, only done it three times. So just for clarification, um, would would one pineapple cover one leg? Is this, like, every every part of my leg needs to be covered in pineapple? How, that's, like, a, that's a good question. The reason I have... Uh, a few upstairs that are two years old. The older they get, the more um, thick they get, and the farther you can spread it. Um, <laughs> so it, it depends okay. how, so, how it's a old you're. Spread. You're is. spreading it on you. Got right. it. Okay. It's like a nice Thank jam. Thank you. Except it's years old. So pineapple. fun fact: <laughs> if you have a steak that's too tough, you can actually blend a pineapple with water, soak the steak in it for about two hours. One hour is best. Any longer, and it will start to dissolve the steak. Uh, and the that's grown... your home ec and wellness tip for the day. <laughs> but you can actually you you can actually tenderize a tough steak using that's pineapple. Simple. You just need to wash the pineapple off the steak before you cook it or it'll dissolve the steak. Don't ever say this podcast didn't give you anything. <laughs> Other than it gives a headache. Me all kinds of things. <laughs> Um, well, Bob, since since you know so much about pineapples and the, the eff efficacy of them, what would you do if you didn't have anything to shave with shaving cream? So, <laughs> I, I don't I don't actually use shaving cream. Um, I use okay. a bar of William shave soap. Uh, they're about okay. a buck a piece, and they're perfect. But if I'm out of the shave soap, uh, not a sponsor though. If you'd like to sponsor us, balderdashacademy.com. We'll um, FAQ. So uh, in ancient Rome, what the gladiators in particular did, or just Romans in general, was they would cover themselves with olive oil and they'd use a, a stick to scrape the olive oil off. Uh, in fact, gladiators used to sell this used oil um, for perfume and for performance enhancement. Oh, it was just like, God. it's basically a sponsorship we have today. But that olive oil can be used on the scalp. 
uh, for shaving. And the nice thing about the using of uh, the olive oil is that if you're really, really into it and you're missing going out to a restaurant, mix in some, some garlic powder, uh, mix in a little butter. And the next thing you know, not only are you clean shaven, but you smell like garlic bread. Garlic bread. Everybody loves garlic bread. I Everybody, mean, everybody loves garlic bread. Everybody you just true. walk it's into true. your significant other and say, baby, unlimited breadsticks for you. Is it carb free? <laughs> <though? laughs> is it? Is it? Yes. Oh. Yes. In this it's, situation, you know what? It's it is. It's completely keto friendly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, um, Steve, do you... Do you shave? Do you know how are you old enough for that? <laughs> yeah, a so, so the answer is no. But. <laughs> <laughs> well, if if you ran out of shaving cream, Steve, for those adorable blonde Thank pieces of you. hair on your face, um, what would you do to remove them? All right. I actually I know the solution to this. This is gonna sound crazy, but hear me out. Everyone on this show knows me pretty well, knows that I am a huge lover of cats. Uh, mm -hmm. Fans of the show will also know that because they've seen cats walking through my office here throughout the show. Now, mm -hmm. cats are really good at scratching things, uh, ruining things, tearing apart things. They're so good at it. And it's hard to love them some days. You're really they... selling cats for me. Yeah, 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 absolutely. <laughs> now, the thing that you can kind of sick a cat with is a laser light. Okay, so what you can actually do is you basically shine the laser light on your head, get two cats nearby, and what they'll do is they'll just jump right on that bad boy. I'm, I'm talking like a head in this scenario as if this is Bob, but you mm -hmm. can also do this to your face. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you just shine that laser light around. They'll think it's yarn. They'll go, they'll go crazy. Just rip out all the unnecessary hair. Next thing you know, you're going to be looking like your best self. So laser cat yeah. hair removal. Cat scratch <laughs> fever. Laser yeah. cat hair removal. I'm going to back you, Steve up on this because there was one time we had a show. It was too dangerous to drive home <laughs> because of a snowstorm. So I crashed on Steve's couch. And I, I when I fell asleep, I had a full head of hair. When I woke <laughs> up, the kitten had solved my hair problem. <laughs> so you grew that's hair. That's partially a true story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, Molly, as someone who, uh, you know, you shave your legs, you're a runner, you get that speed. Oh, yeah. Like swimmers do. You minutes you Get rid of the extra hair. Cuts. Yeah. Um, what would you do if loss. you didn't have any shaving cream? Uh, so what I would use or would recommend or do myself when I have no shaving cream is, you know, that old idiom, shave and a haircut, two cents. Now mm -hmm. it's actually a hidden message saying, mm -hmm. if you can't get a shave or a haircut, what you can use is two cents. So all you need to do is get two pennies together. If you uh, clickety clack them real fast together, they act like little, -clack little, yeah, clickety clack them. They look like little mini tweezers, mm -hmm. and you can just kind of just de -de 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 all the way up. <laughs> okay. Now it's a it's a wee bit painful because it is a bit archaic. That came from uh, 1742 when they really needed to use two cents to shave. Um, but if if you're in a pinch, it'll do. Really, you're really rubbing those pennies together there. Um, these have all been really, really helpful answers. Um, one of which is kind of close to something that I would have done. Um, before I tell you how I successfully got my legs nice and smooth today, um, Joe, I would love to go over these answers and have you help me score them here. We had um, Nate who used an old pineapple and the oozing out of the pineapple to, to spread that ooze on the hair and it just dissipates apparently. Um, We've got Bob, who was using, who uses a, a shave soap rather than an actual shaving cream, but he's throwing it back to the gladiators with the olive oil, um, and and you know making yourself like a garlic bread tasty treat. Um, we've got Steve with his cat laser hair removal, um, and we've got Molly clickety clacking two pennies together to remove those teeny tiny hairs. Um, these are 
answers that could <laughs> potentially be used. Um, uh, I have a much simpler answer for you, but Joe, please tell me how you'd give these fine faculty members some points. Damn fine. I'll start with Nate. Um, man, the pineapple idea was fantastic, and, and you had mm. me with the bromine, but mm -hmm. you lost me at storing the pineapple for two years upstairs, like in your kids' room. I don't no, know. I'm in, in the, the basement right now. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How, how'd you bring the basement down like that? That was cool. Um, uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah. I saw him in the kitchen. Mirrors, smoke and mirrors. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to give you 13 points. 13 points for that answer. Fair enough. Um, nice. Yeah. yeah no basement problem. points. Basement points, basically. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bob, so so first of all, we had a fun fact. That's worth five points. Thank you for the fun fact. Um, mm -hmm. Also, we learned a little bit more about Bob because Bob sometimes feels reluctant to share about who he really is. And so we got the mm -hmm. William Shave Soap, which is great. Uh, sponsor, potentially. Uh, <laughs> my favorite part, Please? though, is it doesn't even matter how you shave doesn't matter what you shave with. If you come out smelling like garlic bread and it doesn't cause you to gain weight, that's worth 25 points right there. <laughs> so 25 points for Bob. Uh, then we had the here, your family. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> um, Steve, laser cat, laser cat removal. Um, that sounds dangerous. Mm, yeah mm. i but, like for dudes yeah, for dudes not a big deal but i feel like if you start like i don't know throwing the laser pointer on a dog oh yeah that poor dog mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. or your girlfriend oh i mean it's mm -hmm. i uh, it seems like you're weaponizing the cats it's true yeah that's true yeah. is it, it uh, too powerful yeah. my idea is too too powerful too powerful okay. Not yeah. not recommended for a bikini wax. Right. We don't want mm -mm. we don't want this. <laughs> Need the special yeah, yeah. Brazilian cat for that. Yes. Mm -hmm. How many? Yeah. Hairless. Yeah. The hairless cat. A Brazilian. <laughs> Brazilian? <laughs> nice. A Brazilian. That's a <laughs> lot of cats. Uh, <laughs> so Steve, I mean, it was a far out answer. Don't get me wrong. It was a far out answer. I feel obligated from a charitable standpoint to give you 40 mm. points. So I'm going to give you 40 points out of charity. Wow. Wow. That's very charity charitable. points are, are more than basement points. I see. Okay. <laughs> 13 answer, basement points. You don't have points, to exchange them. Your answer 40 got gross. Charity. Your answer got, I mean, <laughs> there is an advantage to weaponizing cats. I'm just saying. All right. Uh, and Molly, first of all, great use of the word idiom. That's an extra, da, 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 that's da, da, a, da. extra five bonus points right there. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the two cents. Hmm, man, I mean, I feel like you'll probably start a fire on your legs or your your chin or your head with those two copper pennies. Hey, penny, they might have been hay pennies back then in 1742. Mm. Um, so I'm going to give you 14 <laughs> points. 14 points. Wow. 14 okay. points. All right. Okay. Ma but Marie, points. Marie, for the, uh, for the question and for how animated you were, I'm going to give you 26 points. Thank you for those points. Um, and a great – a thing that I have done in the past when I have run out of shaving cream – Coconut oil, very similar to olive oil. Um, it, 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 it moisturizes your skin at the same time. I did not actively have any coconut oil in the shower with me today when I realized that I didn't have any shaving cream. But what I did have was conditioner. Most women have conditioner of some sort. So if you live with a woman or you, there's a, there, there's often conditioner found in showers. Little conditioner goes a long way, smooths those legs right up, slicks the hairs right off with a fine razor, and there you go. No yeah. shaving cream required. True. Wow. Boom. Are you implying that, that men don't use conditioner? I, I saw that subtle. I mean, some do. If, we, uh, what, if you want to have beautiful luscious hair like use? me and Bob, you really got <laughs> What kind of conditioner do I use? Yeah, what's your soap. conditioner preference? <laughs> I use soap and beard oil. <laughs> <laughs> now that I've chopped my hair off, I have a lot more conditioner to spare. That changes things. Uh, Our points God right now. Darn it, son of a biscuit. Our visiting professors at 32 points. 
Next, we have Nate with 140.9 points, followed by Marie with 142.7. We have Steve with 157, Ooh. myself with 175.3, and Molly with 207. Huh. Point <laughs> Whoa. Oh, it was a seven. good one. It was a good thing. Okay, yes. you scared me. <laughs> Molly is a radio station right now. Next, we have our last. 30 seconds or less question. And the randomizer returns. All right. Good one. So, Joe, in any aspect of your life, who are three people who have been the most influential to you? Only three? Um, yeah. Well, we got thirty seconds. I only have thirty seconds. All right. So uh, John Kerr, he was my uh, he was my theater director in high school. Um, I would also say, oh man, there's so many. Um, Michael Crichton, author, uh, he's been influential. I'd like to write like he does, and I'll go with um, Balderdash Academy. It's not a. Mm. It's I close like enough. Uh. It's a. If businesses can be people, Balderdash Academy can be a person. <laughs> All right. So it is now time for Technically Correct. Oh, so gosh. I will read a description of a movie that is technically correct. Our faculty members will return and answer as fast as possible. Joe will then award points based on the answers he likes best. Not necessarily the right answer, but the answer he likes best. The first movie... It's the story of daylight saving time. Marie, what do you have? Uh, Groundhog Day. Oh, good answer. Groundhog's Day. All right, Steve, what do you got? <clears throat> it's Seven Samurai. Seven, I love that movie. Samurai. All right, Nate, what's your answer? Titanic. <laughs> Titanic. Spoiler warning. And Molly. Uh, time Bandits. Time Bandits. So we have Mar uh, the story of Daylight Saving Time, Marie with Groundhog Day, Steve with Seven Samurai, Nate with Titanic, and Molly with Time Bandits. The answer was Sunshine. The 2007 <laughs> film about the sun going out and astronauts trying okay. to save it, Sunshine. Joe, how would you like to score? Um, Nate, Molly, and Steve, you get five points for trying, and I appreciate that. Thank you. Marie, for Groundhog you. Day, you get 15 points. Yeah, that's a good Thank answer. Thank you. All right. Thank you. So, our next technically correct, an uninvited guest is beaten by a sack. Steve, what's your answer? An uninvited guest is beaten by a sack. I'm going to say Rocky. Rocky, Nate, what's your answer? Uh, I'm going to go with old school. Old school. Molly, what do you have? Um, <coughs> sorry. Bless you. Um, <laughs> Bless you. I don't know how to spell that. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's the Batman with Scarecrow in it. It's the one with Scarecrow because he's got the Batman side. begins. Batman begins. That one. You're getting better with not having to have us name the movie and you just describe it. So thank you. Marie, what's your answer? <laughs> um, Santa Claus with Tim Allen. S okay. Santa, okay. the ah. Santa Claus. So an uninvited guest is beaten by a sack. We have Steve with Rocky, Nate with Old School, Molly with Batman Begins, and Marie with the Santa Claus. The answer was Wedding Crashers. Oh. 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 Love that Oh, idea. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sack is the name of the man who beats uh, John, I believe, in Wedding okay. Crashers. Nice. Okay. So, uh, Awesome. So, Joe, how would you like to score? We're going to do the same thing. I know mean, that's boring and probably not good for TV, but it's uh, Nate, <laughs> Molly, and Steve with I for trying. And Marie, we're like the same mind because I was thinking of Santa Claus. So you get 50. Nice. Sweet. Good. Nice. Thank you. All right. Our third movie, an elite soldier is pushed to the edge on a domestic assignment. 
Nate, what do you have? Oh, the Shawshank Redemption, when they're on the <laughs> roof, tarring the roof. <laughs> <laughs> Shawshank Redemption, Molly, what do you got? Uh, oh, uh, I had something. Where, what was it? Uh, crap, no, I did, I had something. What, um, what's the description again? An elite soldier oh, I got is it. pushed. The toy soldier. Toy <laughs> soldier. All right, Marie, what do you have? Avatar. Avatar and Steve, what's your answer? Uh, Starship Troopers. Mm. Oh. Starship Troopers. All right. So an elite soldier is pushed to the edge on a domestic assignment. We have Nate with Shawshank Redemption, Molly with Toy Soldier, Marie with Avatar, Steve with Starship Trooper. The answer is the pacifier. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It is the pacifier. Oh, yeah. That's a great movie. Navy SEAL sent to protect a family. Mm-hmm. How would you like to score? Um, we had some good answers. Uh, first of all, Shawshank Redemption is one of my top five favorite movies of all time. So, Nate, you get 12 and Nate's a half points. Two. Nate's two. Nate's <laughs> two. Nice, nice. Great. 12 great. and a half great. points. Uh, Toy Soldiers, which is hopefully what Molly meant, is one yeah. uh, from, the, yeah. from the 80s that I absolutely yeah. love. Yeah. So Molly gets 15 points. Um, the uh, Starship Troopers, um, I mean, love it. 10 points. I'm going to give you 10 points for that one, Steve. Marie, I forgot yours, so you get five. Avatar, thank <laughs> oh, you. Oh, and a good reason I forgot yours. It was Avatar. <laughs> five points. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's papyrus. Everything's papyrus. <laughs> Our last movie is... A carefree sitter tries to grow up and saves a buck in the process. Molly, what do you got? What's that movie with the uh, with the babysitter <laughs> in, in the building? The pacifier. Wait, 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 no, wait. The no. one about the go- about Gosh, the, uh, the sitter God. that it's, grows she up wears and a, then she wears, a, she wears a she wears a adventures in babysitting. Helmet? Yes, thank you. That one. <laughs> <laughs> So, Joe, this is Molly's <laughs> tactic. <laughs> get the, get the guest right. to pick it. Nice, I like it. No, Molly I with Adventures in Babysitting. Marie, names. what do you have? Um, can you say the name, the description again? A, a sitter? carefree sitter tries to grow up and saves a buck in the process. Um, um, Hook. Hook. All right, Steve, what do you got? Uh, the word buck is lingering in my mind, so I'm going with I the know. deer hunter. Mm. The deer hunter. All right. It has everything in there. It has the sitter. Nate, what do you have? Bambi. <laughs> Bambi. Bambi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, we have Molly with adventures in babysitting, Marie with hook, Steve with the deer hunter, Nate with Bambi. A carefree sitter tries to grow up and saves a buck in the process, describes... Uncle Buck. Mm. Oh, come on. I love that uh, movie. Wow. I knew Actually, that. I knew that movie. God Joe, darn it. Joe, how would you like to score? Uh, Molly's <laughs> Adventure in Babysitting. That's actually the one that I had in my mind as well. So you get 15 points for that. Uh, Marie, I love Hook. Uh, so you get... <laughs> so good. You get 15 points. The Deer Hunter... Bang a rang for Marie. So um, the Deer Hunter is worth 10 points by itself. But if you can give me the Dueling Banjos right now on the spot... Hey, my name, my name is Alexander Hamilton. I'm here. <laughs> I like playing banjos every day. Uh, very nice, and they sound so sweet. I'm gonna go eat some deer meat. You <laughs> get ten points for that. Nice. Uh, Nate, right. Nate, uh, I'm gonna give you ten points for Bambi just because I don't want the audience to hate me. But I'd, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give you ten more points if you can give me the name of the skunk. I mean, sorry, is... Thumper oh, the rabbit. Oh, there's both. Both. And a bunny. Bunny, that's what it meant. Thumper bunny was the bunny. Thumper's the bunny. And, the um... You know this. Uh, I have to. I'm a, cocaine I'm a nose. Disney employee. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Done. Nose. 12 and a half cocaine more points for skunk. Nate. So that's 22 and a half it's, total. It's the flower. skunk is named Flower. Flower. Oh. You can call I have a fun flower fact about Bambi later. <laughs> So before we get to the final points to see who won tonight, it's time for the moral of tonight's story. So after talking to Joe, Joe, 
a person that we saw once, twice, sometimes three times a week for a year. This is the first time that we've seen him in five and a half months. After playing the games and and laughing together again, one thing is abundantly clear. Whenever Joe is on the show and asks you to rap, you best damn drop that beat and get to it. Mm -hmm. Because frankly, there's nothing else to say, Joe. Just screw it. Suck it. All right, so. Suck it! No one's as good as me! (laughs) It is now time for our final points. Let's see who won. In last place, but first in our hearts, is our visiting professor, Joe Swenson, with 32 points. Yeah, buddy. Next, we have myself with 175.3. We have Nate with 185.9. We have our reigning champion, now former reigning champion, Marie, with 192.7. We have Steve Coach with 197 and our new reigning champion with 247.7 points. Six time reigning champion Molly McGill tied with Nate for the most wins. Oh, I thought she overtook me with this. You guys are now tied 6-6. Six, six. Oh. It's on. So, like, uh, on. Yeah, it's, uh, it okay. is on. Awesome. I'm not, I'm not as like... angry anymore. I thought you overtook me. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of you. I'd like to thank visiting professor Joe Swenson. Thank you, Joe. You do. Well yes, done. Thank you Literally his, he's well amazing. done. So, Joe, thank you for being a uh, visiting professor tonight on Balderdash Academy. Yeah. Uh, links to all of Joe's work are of the, and, and any work that's available now are in the description. See his films, buy his work, and if you have an opportunity to see his show, please do so. So, Joe, you're always welcome. Thank you. This was awesome. <laughs> this was so much fun, and, and it's so great to see you guys. Man, I miss you guys so much. Oh. Same. So, thank you for visiting us at Balderdash Academy. I've been your headmaster. Bob LeBlanc. Joining me tonight has been Coach of the Dashers, Steve Corning. Guys, we'll definitely get him next time. We have our Professor of Steam, Nate Green. I'll take Seasons of Love for 300, Alex. (laughs) (laughs) We have our Professor of Home Ec and Wellness, Marie Stewart Harmon. Happy to hand my crown to you, Molly. And our six-time reigning champion, <laughs> Professor of English Language Arts, Molly McGill. Oh, Steve! No one can as good as me! I get the points and you want to see. Yo, coming back every week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> All right. Thank you for joining us tonight on Balderdash Academy. Go Dashers. Clubber church. woo For complete episodes and more, visit us at balderdashacademy.com. Let the Balderdash Academy crew give you some pointers for your next vacation. Having issues with your sex life? We can help there too. We even hit some sports. We prove that a group of improvisers can be a safe place to stop for some jocular type tips. We are a jack of all trades kind of school. The proof is in the pudding. So stop by and take a taste with the next Balderdash Academy. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. You can find us on your favorite podcast service as Balderdash Academy. We have a surprise game tonight. (gasps) Don't we, Steve? We do? Because the exactly show is right. not long enough already. So, guys, I know what you're thinking. This show We are needs, challenging the Oscars. This, this show needs to be longer. Um, so all that time when I was nodding and looking like I was paying attention, I was actually creating an elaborate Mad Lib. <laughs> I've taken various things we have said from tonight.
and I am going to uh, turn it into a beautiful rap. Um, so Bob, if you yes. don't mind, uh, just dropping that beat. Sick beats. Oh God, here we go. Hip hop heads, no, no, hip hop heads are gonna recognize this, but for everyone else, this is to the tune of Ice Cubes. It was a good day. Here we go. All right. Yep, sure. I don't know if it's gonna go to the right rhythm. Just waking up in Seattle, gotta thank Joe. I don't know, but today seems kind of rainy. No <laughs> bromine from the pineapple and no smog. Mama cooked the breakfast with no sea cabbage. <laughs> I got my grub on, but I didn't shatner. <laughs> Finally got a call from a girl I want to always flirt with. Hooked it up for later as I hit the door thinking, will I live another 3,000 Cubans? I gotta go, cause I got me a sea cow. <laughs> and if I hit the switch, I can make that ass flop. <laughs> Had to stop at the Space Needle, looking at, looking in the mirror. Not a armpit hair in sight. No. Nope. And it's everything is wicked sick. <laughs> hold on, hold on, I've lost place of where I am. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, that was special. Here we go. Oh, it's okay. still going. I got a beep from Bo's mom. <laughs> And she can play football all night long. Calling up the Washington football team and asking, y'all, which stadium full of Greggs are y'all playing football at? Get me on the field and I'm trouble. Last week got a walla walla. Walla! 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 <laughs> a freaking... Oh my god, freaking... Oh my Jesus! Okay, where was? Holla, holla, walla, walla. That's good. You know what did there? That was funny. That was funny. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. That was okay. a special thing. That was Thank special. You. So that's a, that's for the bonus. Hopefully, that'll fit right there in the bonus. <laughs> Go Dashers.